Good morning, modern steaders. We're at the off-grid property again today. We're down here at the lower beaver dam. We need to check and see if any beavers have come back and see if we need to start trapping them again. The water's down a little bit. And the water's not flowing as much, so I wonder if they got it dammed off. Nope, no beavers have been back. The water level has dropped quite a bit. The water was up to the bottom of that trail cam the other day. So it's nice to see the water level coming down. Today we need to do some more exploring up this way and check and see if the beavers are flooding out any more areas. This piece of property we just bought not that long ago is over 500 acres and we haven't checked it all out. And I know there are some areas on here that the beavers have been in. So we need to go check those out today and see what we can find. We're gonna head on up the road and go to the next spot. on the map out this way there's a big beaver pond so we gotta go check it out see what we can find you ladies ready yeah nice and warm yeah nice and bright yeah like my little hand <laughs> <laughs> look like you're from the 80s Trying to find old skitter trails to follow so it makes for easier walking. I think right up here is one. We're gonna have to get some of these trails cut open again so we can get the mule in here. That little ravine we crossed, we'll have to make a bridge for it. Crunchy. I was just about to say the same thing. Mm -hmm. It is crunchy today. Good thing we're not deer hunting. I think we got some deer tracks right here. Maybe we'll end up spooking some out of their beds this morning. This is from the moose eating the bark last year, the year before, and it's healing up. I'm thinking this trail would be pretty easily opened up to get the mule on it, so that'd be a bonus. Oh, there's a lot of down trees right here. I wonder if these are from beavers. Got quite a few, and that looks like it had been flooded out before. Let's get out there and check. a good sized tree. Yeah, this is all beaver damage. There, there, all those trees. Knock them down and leave them. This is from beavers, yep. Yeah. And then, this looks like more old moose they, snacking. Do you think they yell timber? The beavers? No. They're like me. They don't yell it. <laughs> Let's walk this way and see what we can find, but looks like it goes that way too.
A lot of reed grass. There's a lot of woods where we just came out of and up here it opens up. So, could be less trees from beavers chewing them down and from flooding out. And there's a lot of beaver chewed trees over here. There's a lot of trees down. There is a ton of trees chewed down in here from beavers. That's kind of neat, that rock is like split in half. Is that a beaver house oh, yeah. right there? Yeah, I think that's a beaver den right there. From looking around, I want to say that this all used to be flooded. There's a dam right here, and I must have went that way somewhere because we haven't walked over a dam yet. This is a pretty cool looking rock. My guess is the water must have flown between this rock one time and it froze and then cracked it in half. That's just amazing. Look at that. That was one solid rock at one time. Right. Look at this beaver den. This thing is huge. Some big old holes right there. Yeah, it's abandoned. Look at those big old holes. That's how they used to get in. You want to go in? I'll no, hold, I'm not going in there. I'll hold you by your feet. No. <laughs> so this must have all been flooded out at one point and then the beavers would access this underwater. There's an entrance there. So it's flooded a little bit. I'll have to get on top and check it out. There's another entrance way. Hello, beavers! That thing's huge. This thing is huge. It looks like there might be something else down that way, but look at that. That's bigger than my pickup truck. That's probably like two of my trucks side by side. That's monstrous. And then there's the dam. So the dam is starts, I don't even know where it starts over there, but you can see it there all the way here. And it continues down that way. And that's gotta be five feet tall, six feet tall maybe. And then just look at all the dead trees. And then back up that way. Let's get the drone out and see what we can see from the air. It's looking to me like this whole area at one point had been flooded out because there's no hardwood trees left out here. I'm gonna say probably easily get turned into pasture. Now it also looks like to our right here, let me add an arrow, that there's another huge abandoned beaver den and maybe another big old beaver dam. To get out there and explore and see what that area is, I think that's right behind us. Right here, I'll put another arrow. That is me and standing on the abandoned beaver den that we just found. That thing is enormous. Looked like to me that the other one from the drone footage is bigger than the one I'm standing on right now. This beaver den is huge, but it looks like there's an even bigger one over this way. Looks like there's another dam right here, maybe. More down trees. That looks like a big moose track. All right, we got a little bit more standing water right here. All right, we found a way across. Water's not deep. I 
think I see a dam right over here. Thought that first area was huge, but this is even bigger. We haven't even got to it yet. That's a big old moose track right there. Look at that thing. This dam looks like it goes on for a mile. So it doesn't look like the beavers have been here in a while, but man, they have devastated a lot of land. Not sure why they had moved on, if they just get sick of an area because they've eaten all the food out of it and they move on, or if the coyotes or something got them. Leave it in the comments down below. Let me know why you think they would leave an area like this. But it's just crazy how much devastation they have done out here. Look at this thing. That thing's a mondo. How do we get over there now? I think I can cross down here. And then we'll work our way back to the den. This one's going to be twice the size of that last one. Look at that entrance. That's a big entrance way there. Let's walk around this thing. There's one up high here. I wonder if that's like where a coyote or a fox or something dug in the den and ate the beavers. I don't know. I'm kind of lost why they would have flooded out and destroyed such a big area like this and then moved on and left. There. Another entrance way right here. Pretty deep here, so this was a deep canal or channel they had dug to another entrance way there. I wonder if we could sell beaver chewed walking sticks from this pile. <laughs> you could fit two of my trucks side by side, or one and a half side by side, and it's almost two lengths long. That's a big den. The dam's over there out of our sight. I think it actually starts over by that evergreen far out, not that one, but the one further back and zigzags its way here and then over there out of our sight. They had a huge area flooded at one time. I wish I knew how old this area was and when they had left it. I want to put into perspective how big this beaver den is. Let me get the drone up and I'll show you. Man, look how big this den is. It's just crazy. I wonder how long it takes them to build a den that big and how many beavers would have lived in there. I still can't get over of how big of an area they have devastated and then just moved on and left. Still can't get over it. One of the things I'm noticing is all the bark is off these sticks. And there's no hardwood left in the area and that's what the beavers eat so i'm just curious if the beavers got all the food out of here and then they moved on or why they're not here anymore if you have a if you have an explanation for that leave it in the comments down below but i just can't get over how much they devastate an area and then just leave it's crazy
like there's another little section right here that they have dammed up. And then just all over yonder, I think right there, is the first beaver den that we came to. There's a heavily used game trail right here that comes back up from that big dam. Be a good place to sit or set out a game camera and see what is trekking this way. Some nice ground here. Let's get the tall grass out of your way. Make some nice pasture. I don't think this would take much to turn into pasture. I was wondering which way we came, then it reminded me, but oh yeah, we walked through that big split rock. Tight squeeze. This is a pretty neat kind of beaver chew. Oh, there's one they started on, didn't finish. Actually, the tree's still alive. I'm surprised, but look at this one. I got a lot of it chewed down and then the rest of it just fell over on its own. I wonder if they actually had that chewed down and then a windstorm came and blew the rest over. Bet you that's what happened. Took the center right out of it. Ah, worked up a pretty good appetite. Can hear it. I say, if it was a little bit colder, it'd be worth it to get a fire going and cook on the fire, but. It's beautiful out today with that sun. Yeah. Now, in a couple of days, we're gonna get buried in snow is what they're calling yeah. for. There you go, Olivia. This one's ready for you.
taste better in the woods. Yeah, they kind of do. <laughs> well, I didn't bite into it yet, but the pieces that fell out did. It's probably all that walking. Right. Work up an appetite. Mm -hmm. That does, it looks so delicious. A little taco. Soft shell taco. Mm. Pretty good, huh? That is good. Oh, I think that'll be too thick. I don't want like it, but I love it. Right? Do you love that? Built this thing from the ground up out of nothing. No flight plan, no manual to be found, you and I. We're driving in the dark without headlights, trying to find our way. It's hard telling where we'll be in the coming days, but I'll be there with you. Talk telling where we'll be in the coming days. I'll be there with you. These little butane stovetop burners work so nice. Bought this one, I think, five years ago at a yard sale. And it was probably 20 years old at that point, never been used. And it's so convenient for little things like this. You found your Christmas tree? Yeah. Well, we made it back and I still can't get over all the devastation from the beavers and why they just took off and left everything. We have to do some research and find out if that's normal or if the coyotes or something got them. Olivia's flock's coming too. The property of 500 acres that we purchased, the people we bought it off of, there you ladies go owned it for almost 30 years and they didn't do anything with it like meaning they didn't live there and they would just go to the property every once in a while I guess so I don't think they would have trapped them out or had somebody trapped them out but no eggs today I am not sure on that but I'm just kind of wondering what made the beavers leave <laughs> Moose what are you up to what are you ladies up to you sunning yourself over there or what Huh, are you sunning yourself? Got plenty of water. I think some of you are inside napping, weren't you? I hope you don't smell anymore. Or I should say, you don't smell like a stinky buck anymore. Yeah. Good girl. The chickens are loving that we haven't had really any extreme winter weather yet. It's all gonna change in the next couple of days. We're gonna be getting hit hard with a snowstorm. Come on guys, you gotta go up to your coop. Let's go. Come on. You too, mister. Come on, how are you all getting out? Come on. I'm hoping for at least five eggs. Let's see. Ooh. Two, four, six. That's a good amount considering we're in the winter time with our daylight being so low. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. And while you're down there, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video.